Hi guys, welcome to my new video. Have you ever been to North Town in Aldershot? Here are a few things you may not know about North Town. Aldershot North Town is in Hampshire, but as you can see, it is directly at the border to Surrey. As I want to know more about North Town's highlights, I'll have a lot of questions for the local councillors Gaynor Austin and Keith Dibber. Hello Keith, nice to meet you again. How are you? Very well today. Rebecca, beautiful morning here at Ivy Fields in North Town. Hello Gaynor, thank you for your time. How are you? Hi Rebecca, um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Lovely sunny day. How would you describe North Town? North Town, first of all, I see as a community. It's a genuine community in an urban area, a mixture of residential, industrial, and commercial and retail. And we all live side by side very well indeed. Um, I see it as the, uh, the best urban village in England. I've lived in North Town for probably over 25 years. And in that time, there's been an awful lot of changes. But what I think has really stayed the same is the the fantastic community feel that it has so in this area what schools are around here the the main schools in our ward are the infants and the juniors which are oldwood so they used to be separate schools but they've now um, come under uh, one and we've been out doing road safety um, work with them and um, judging posters and, yeah. how would you describe the community great community spirit here. Um, it's, it's very varied and you have got a, quite a few people who were born and raised here and still live here and you have you know all age groups so you know, a lot of young families with children um, up to elderly people who maybe live in um, for example Alma House. Do you know what the history of North Town is? It's developed really over the years. We've had a parish church for uh, 100 plus years, and, but it's always been that mixture of residential and industrial and lots of farmland. Um, over the last 100 years, that farmland has been lost to, to uh, residential development, such as the farm estate and the, uh, the North Town estate. But I think the clue there is in the name, the farm estate and the roads in the My North Town project, such as Hayloft and Blacksmith will retain that link with uh, its farming tradition. And as we're here, what is the history of the ivy fields? Really, it's an oasis in this urban um, sprawl, and it's incredibly important to North Town residents and North Town clubs. Um, not everyone knows about ivy fields because it's at the end of a lane and you have to pass the range and various industrial units and the, uh, the council dump. But uh, as you know, here we are this morning and it's a beautiful recreation ground. It's used for dog walking, playing area. Yeah, if you come here out of lockdown, which we hope to very soon, you would see football matches of uh, you know, junior teams, um, all those different sports being played here. And of course, in the last 10 to 12 years, we've had the, the ball court installed and the uh, equipment for teenagers to use. Um, and, and of course there are great plans for the future of Ivy Fields. I heard something about a clubhouse. Yes, Rebecca, it does have some exciting plans at the moment. It's not quite agreed what's best for it. Uh, about five years ago, Rushmore Borough Council approved plans which we supported for a new sports pavilion here because if anyone that's been to Ivy Fields would see that effectively the changing facilities are a, a, a container um, which isn't uh, really fit for purpose, but, but better than nothing. So really it's up for grabs. The council and we as local councillors are talking to various clubs that are interested in relocating here. But we want to make sure that um, whoever comes here that it still remains access to everyone and doesn't become the exclusive ground. But what Gaynor and myself are campaigning for, we've got agreement from council officers that they would install in the next year or so, uh, they call it a rig, which is exercise equipment for adults. But if we're going to bring more facilities to Ivy Fields, the lighting, the access, and uh, top quality CCTV would be required here. Do you know the age of the cemetery? 
Um, I'm not entirely sure of the age of the cemetery, but I know that there are certainly graves there that go back to, um, I think to probably before the First World War. But there is a separate Jewish part of the cemetery which has a really interesting history. The cemetery at, at, on Redan Road, as we're talking, one side is the children's cemetery and local residents do an awful lot of work to, to keep it looking beautiful. I actually worked with a resident of North Town. She was running a charity and wanted to produce a memorial for early lost babies. We were very surprised to find out there was an area that we didn't know about, which was just simply grassed over, no markers, and actually has a number of um, babies, mostly stillborn babies, buried there. So that was the perfect place. Um, we called it Garden of Angels. So there are a few churches in the area. What churches are here? Well, there's St. Augustine's, which is the Church of England parish church, which effectively um, the boundaries of that are North Town. We also have the Roman Catholic Church in Bellevue Road. The Salvation Army have their headquarters at the end of North Lane, and we have the Elim Pentecostal Church in Holly Road. So four faiths have their own buildings, um, and I think there's another church that used what was once the British Legion Hall in North Lane. You said already something that the support while the COVID lockdown was very great here. It was the, the ordinary um, members of our community. So a small group of people got together and set up something we called ARC, which was Aldershot Response to Coronavirus. And it was really just a community group with volunteers who would go and get shopping for people, um, collect prescriptions, you know, for people who were, who were shielding. Um, a lot of the older generation in particular were absolutely terrified at that point. They now have a, a, a wide range of many more volunteers in Rushmore Voluntary Services who are carrying on doing the things that are needed, but also um, volunteering at the vaccination hubs at the Princess Hall and in, uh, over in Farnborough. Can you tell me something about the My North Town project? So My North Town project is a very exciting project which is changing the landscape of North Town and, and, and building good quality new homes for rent, shared ownership and uh, owner occupiers. It's replacing the what was once called the North Town Estate which was built in the 1950s which at the time were, were, were good quality flats but as the years went on they became sort of unfit for purpose. I'm really proud, one of my proudest achievements actually is to have lobbied for an upgrade of the you know, housing in North Town. What else is in this area? North Town is a, a great, in a, in a great situation really. Um, we have a fantastic seven day a week bus service that can um, you know, connect you with the town centre and, and other places. We have some fantastic beautiful walks nearby. So as in just, just here we are on Ivy Fields and we can access um, walking along you know, the river and the Blackwater um, canal, beautiful walks. We have some, I think I mentioned earlier, some fantastic businesses who were great support to the community during lockdown. Um, and it's fantastic to be able to shop local, which I think is really important. So, you know, people aren't having to go miles to, um, you know, the supermarket or into the town centre to, to shop. Um, we have you know, a really good range. I think there's a lot of opportunity in North Town for it to be to have a, a really great community. We're introducing some um, community planting, um, which will be for residents to be able to grow um, and manage and grow herbs and vegetables in the, in the community. Um, so there's a lot going on, really. Thank you very much for your time to answer all my amazing a lot of questions. So I heard about an award-winning butchers here in Aldershot, North Town. Can you tell me more about that? Hi everyone, my name is Paul Turner and I own and run the butcher shop we're in now, which is A. Turner and Sons, with my brother Kevin. Um, my grandfather opened the shop in 1956, after knocking the front window out of his family home, and we're still here today. So you won a few awards? Yeah, we've won many awards over the years, um, just using the uh, techniques that uh, have been passed down 
from my grandfather to my father, and now to me and my brother. And we now pass them down onto my brother's son, George, who works here. So I heard that you've been on the TV show The Dragon's Den. Yes, um, we have, yeah. I, I did that in 2012, which was uh, a very scary experience for anybody who's ever seen that. Um, but lucky enough, we got investment from Peter Jones, who we still work with today. So you said you have an investment from Peter Jones. What does that mean? Well, Peter's enabled us um, to expand the brand that we run from here as well. And the brand is Alpha which is in homage to my grandfather. Um, and we sell um, various food products in supermarkets nationally. But the main link for us is we're an official um, partner of Cover Heroes. Um, and we, we, we donate 40% of our royalty and every product sold to the Help Heroes charity. Obviously being from Aldershot, which is the ancestral home of the British Army, that was our link with that. And to date, we've just raised just over £220,000 to help our forces of veterans, to which we're very, very proud. So when you work the whole day here, are you not getting bored of eating the sausages at home, or are you still...? Um, Sometimes, but um, we, we, we always try and keep it relevant, so we're always trying new products and new, new flavour profiles and, and yep. just trying to think of inventive new things to do, so following food trends and uh, just giving our customers something different to, to try. Do you have a favourite item yourself? Um, no, not really. There's varying ones. It's, a, it's always nice to create a new product um, from the top of your head and then uh, it becomes successful in that and our customers love it. So that is always a really nice thing to do. So yeah, um, whatever the latest one is at the time is probably the favourite. And the customers, do they have a favourite item? I mean, it, you'll get all varying items. Um, it's, it depends on the time of year, what the weather's like there. There's, uh, there's different favourites for different people, but you know, in general, the main staples of sausages and, uh, and the like are in general what's most popular. So you said you always have new ideas for new sausages, make new sausage variations. How do you get those ideas? Where do you get them from? Um, yeah, that's always a bizarre one. A lot of that spends a lot of time in supermarkets and uh, just researching uh, different food types and combining different flavours and just seeing if they work. Not every time they work. So um, it's only when we're quite happy with them when we let them loose on the customers. Um, we've had a few disasters, but luckily enough we have a lot more successes than we do on the disasters. Then I thank you very much for the interview that you took, took the time so I was able to ask you all the questions. And when you are interested to get those lovely sausages and all the meat here, just come to the butchers. Are there any places you think I should visit? If so, comment below. Make sure you give that video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn the notification bell on you so will always get a notification when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.